Welcome back to the channel Outriders for another legendary showcase. Today we're taking a look at the Assault Rifle Master Tool. Now this is the Sharpshooter variant, which obviously cannot change. It was my first hands-on experience with one of these in my Ultimate DPS build for Pestilence Technomancer. And I really enjoyed that perk right there, that mod, Dome of Protection. It has interesting utility and could work with solo players, snipers, Overly aggressive glass cannon builds, though it's not really going to give you any DPS or strength or clearing capabilities, it might give you some survivability and some comfort in wide open areas. So, I'm going to talk about the strengths and weaknesses of this gun. I'm going to be honest with you, playing solo, I was surprised. It happened to, you know, kill people. I thought this variant would just be like a lackluster option. We know how strong and dominant rifles are. Where is this one going to fit into the meta? And though I do not think it's necessarily a gun worth using, I did find a relative decent amount of success. Now, I could already tell that I struggled a little bit more with clearing and killing and everything. I decided to opt in adding over the Embalmer's Rage because I knew hitting headshots on this with the, the crazy kind of recoil that it has, I needed something that's going to allow me to go to the body and clear very fast because, and this is probably something personal about me you did need to know, but I am not very good with fast repetition with my fingers, okay? I, I know. It's just absolutely true when it comes down to it i just i've never been good with controllers i've never been good with uh left mouse clicking or anything like that so these guns are not my strong suit i always perform very terribly with these and uh <laughs> the ladies aren't a fan either okay so it's just one of those things and i feel like in somebody's hand that can really take an advantage of this they might actually like one of these uh but seeing as how i didn't feel too comfortable while using it myself and I don't think it necessarily puts out the damage that will make me go, okay, this will scale well in multiplayer. I don't think it's going to be good at, at the end of the day. I haven't tried other ones. I don't know if it's just the actual, you know, archetype of the assault rifle sharpshooters in general, or if just the gun itself just doesn't seem to do well. But I don't see this one being good at in-game. Now, the perk, the mod itself, could have some intense value. As I said before, you summon kind of a trickster bubble, if you will. It's, it's in yellow. It's very interesting. And I was really surprised for its use. Now, as an aggressive player like myself, I find it hard to use. It's like a, it's almost a thing you have to train yourself. I can sit it and stay safe. It's not going to protect me from the melee guys, but the guys in the back or heavy marksman maps, that could be an absolute asset. Wide open area. Some of these areas are wide open and there's no cover to use. And it could allow you to close the distance gap, pop that shield, and be able to stand in front of it comfortably and kill three, four, five enemies before that shield goes away and that has value it may not be actual like dps on paper but it could be great not to mention that i'm a big fan of what it could possibly be capable of on a sniper rifle so this is the sharpshooter variant but imagine this on a bolt action or one of the automatic snipers and it could really honestly elevate your game type because those have to be built into firepower if you really want that punching power if you want that killing power and i think this is one of those perks that's going to go very well with somebody that's going to passively sit back or keep their distance. So glass cannon ranged players could benefit from this mod severely, but it's going to be an acquired taste. At the end of the day, I think the mod is definitely worth looking into and could fit into a certain play style for the right type of person. I am not that person. I like to stay on the go. And of course, expeditions encourage speed and pace. So group play with the right gun could be great if you're a pure DPS pestilence build could be actually quite remarkable. So it is what it is, but I feel like you're gonna need support to really utilize it. And as for the gun itself, as I said, it's not spectacular, it's not terrible, and in the right hands you might find that you actually like the gun, but you can definitely do better than what it prefers, uh, what it puts out. So that's the video, guys. Thank you guys for clicking on it. Subscribe if you're new here. Check out a bunch of other legendary showcases we have on the channel. And if you could leave a like, it helps out tremendously. I will catch you with another video soon, guys. Have fun and happy hunting.